In one day of owning the dream farm, we are already bankrupt. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today is the start of an exciting new series on Farming Simulator 19 and this series is called Building My Dream Farm and well I hopefully you can all guess what this series is going to be about it is literally about building my dream farm now I've already set it up we are using the growers farm map simply because I just think this map is truly amazing uh, we've got Land Rover Defender here just as our little get around vehicle um, I'll give you a tour of the vehicles and equipment that we've got first. Uh, so we've got a couple of John Deere's in here. Now these are both mods. We've got the 2032R with front loader, mower deck and some implements here. This is our yard work tractor. So this won't go out to the fields and that. This is just going to be for general yard work. And then we've got the 6290S which is the 6 series premium and this is a fantastic mod absolutely love this one and this one also has the front loader and a couple of implements this will be for mainly the f off yard work um, but moving on in the shed here we've got a class Tucano with the header and header trailer didn't really park them very well as you can tell um, over here we've actually got the equipment so we've got a um, bale trailer or flatbed trailer here um, we can use this for pallets as well very nice trailer this very nice one we've also got the amazon plow and cultivator even though it's sort of just a disc camo um, we've also got the vadastad uh, cedar and just a small fertilizer spreader we can also use this for lime I believe so that's going to come in handy and then moving around here I believe this is the final piece of equipment oh apart from the grain trailer of course I've got to show you uh, this is the Massey Ferguson 7480 it's a nice older styled one very nice one um, and we'll just come around here and over here we've got a Bailey grain trailer or tipper this is also a very nice one now I've gone with the smaller version and um, we don't need a big version to begin with really uh, but yeah I've gone with the mid-sized equipment just to start us off and um, but obviously as you can tell from the title we'll be progressing a lot uh, so the first thing we need to do is actually cultivate a field and that is because the four fields we own are all grass fields and as you can tell I'm not set up for grass work and what is it allowing me to connect to no idea what that's about probably just a little glitch or something and I've got seasons so we are playing with seasons Um, I've also got manual attach in as well, so this is going to be quite a nice realistic series. Just back it up to there. And we'll get that attached in as well. Let's lift that up. Okay, so the first field that we're going to be working on today is just in front of us now literally opposite the farm so they're all in nice close proximity there's a field over in that direction and that direction and then it's this one and the one next to it that we own uh, but we'll start by cultivating this one here and the reason for that is I just I'd like to plant seed we'll probably do something like canola to start us off there's no point in doing anything that we can bale um, just yet although I'd love to um, obviously we don't have a baler so we can't just shut that gate so we'll unfold the cultivator 
and we'll back it up a bit. I'll do a headland, f um, one or two headlands first, just to make it easier for going up and down. So if we lower that down, and we've got to be careful of the trees. They actually do come out onto the field a bit, but I'm going to try and get as close as I can to the edge of the field and corners might be a bit more difficult so what I'll do if I just raise that up we'll back this up a bit try get as close to the edge as we possibly can want to make the most of the space that we've got in the field goes working very nicely now this is a heavily modded series I've got a link in the description that's going to take you to a Google Docs uh, and that's just going to have some links externally and it'll also have the link to the official mod hub for the game um, most of the mods are from that there's only a few such as this tractor in fact all of the tractors that we've got on the farm um, and there's a few more uh, that aren't from the in-game mod hub now I'm not going to put a full list of everything I've got because I've literally got hundreds um, probably nearing a thousand and I'm going to be honest I don't particularly want to have to write a list of almost a thousand mods out because hey you guys won't even use it so it'll be a waste of my time and also it's just yeah, that's going to take me weeks because I'll have to keep going in and finding all of them and it's just going to take forever um, but yeah just know in-game mod hub and the external links that's what you want to focus on if you want any of these mods now originally I was actually going to use this map uh, for a survival or well I say a survival role play it's just a role play series um, but well as you can tell I'm not because I'm using it for this series and the reason for that is because Sandy Bay will hopefully be coming out for Farming Simulator 19 soon and that has got a load of awesome features um, to go with seasons one of which being potholes which I'm really excited about so I'm going to be using that instead uh, but obviously I've just got to wait for it to come out hopefully it won't be long and I've got a storyline organized so hopefully we're gonna get it started uh, quite swiftly it's gonna be a good one I think it's gonna be a very good series just as this one really So this is actually going very well. Got to be careful of these trees. I want to try and get as close to the field boundaries as possible. Try and utilize all of the space. Now something I'm going to have to do when I seed this field is leave an entrance point. Uh, where the gate is just so we can get the combine in so it'll probably be from about here up to here maybe or actually possibly going in the direction we're facing depending on where how, um, the direction the gate opens really I think what I might actually do if I stick a worker on this now just hop out of there, get out of the way of that and I'm going to head over, I'm actually going to get the John Deere because we don't actually have any seed which is going to be a bit of a problem when it comes to uh, seeding the fields because well we won't be able to so I want to keep this realistic, I could just put down a placeable uh, that will allow me to get um, the seed directly but I want to do this realistically so I'm just gonna 
move that out the way and we'll hook it up to this we'll take the flatbed down to the shop and we'll load up with the uh, seed pallets let's just edge forward a little okay maybe not now that's something that does annoy me with this manual attach mod messes up the front loaders just move that in a little more try to yeah messes up the attachment because I should be able to there we go so it's got it that time not even all the time that it does that which is really annoying now I'm just gonna try and get the camera in a position of which I can see um, and I'm gonna angle it up like that because we are going down the road so I'll put the beacons on as well love the sounds coming from this tractor it just sounds like a beast and the customization options are insane for this as well okay let's hook that up get that attached okay so let's go over to the shop not sure how many seed pallets I'll grab I'll probably just grab a um, trailer load of them um, I shouldn't think we'll need them all but we can always just put them in storage I'll just shut that gate looks like the workers messing up that turn um, <laughs> I'm just gonna watch that briefly Jesus what are they doing oh not again really right okay maybe not what are they doing all they've got to do is turn around right let's try it again then let's make sure that they set off there we go right we'll try go down to the shop I'm gonna keep an eye on the map though I reckon it's gonna get stuck again okay let's just bring up the map and see how that worker's doing they're going round in circles again by they're spinning by the spinnery aren't they okay what the hell is going on okay what I'll do then I will do this off camera and then I'll load the seeds up in a little bit so I'll see you guys in a bit okay so I am on the final uh, few part or the final part now um, as you can see time has progressed quite a bit it's now 515 uh, PM in game you can see the sun is setting over there and that is simply a mess up on my part I left uh, the time speed going a bit too high um, but that's not a problem I'll just slow it down for the next day but yeah um, I mean I don't think we'll get this field seeded tonight or for today say tonight by tonight uh, but at least we have cultivated it in so it is an actual field again which is always nice so we'll get this 
put away again. I don't think we'll be able to cultivate that field um, by tonight either. That is an extremely large one. I might actually um, direct drill that one because I have bought a direct drill. I don't know why I didn't just think of that for the field that we've just done. Of course, I don't have the seed, do I? See, there is a reason. Um, but yeah, we will get the seed today. Just put this away without going through the side of a shed. Okay, let's just we'll try and put it back where it came from. Looking good. Okay, we'll lower that down. And we'll disconnect that and take it off. Um, I might just leave that there for now. Okay, did I actually detach that? I did. There we go, right, seed. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to buy the pallet of seed instead. I just think it'll look a lot better this way. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I think she'll do it. In fact, this trailer might be able to take twelve. Who knows? Right. Now, this is where I have issues. It's I cannot, for the life of me, use pallet forks. I just find them intensely difficult. I'm alright loading bales up and loading pallets. It's just getting it on the pallet to begin with. Um, that's not even lined up. There we go. Failed already. Right. Let's go in. Okay. So that one I've done okay. Now we're not going to stack my pallets on top of each other because, of course, these are bags. Don't want to rip them. Um, I'll try stack it from the front. We'll get them as close together as possible because. It should mean that we can fit more on. Which will be good. The less times I have to do this, the better. Probably a bit too far. That's a bit too far. That's a bit too far. There we go. That'll do. Or not. Why can't I get this on? that's looking better there we go right yeah I really I don't like the um, the stacking of pallets okay just a little bit further down perfect there we go right Now I don't think there'll be enough room for another two pallets on the end, which is slightly annoying. But what I might do instead is if I just secure these, I could possibly if I get, I'll get some fertilizer. I think um, it'll be best doing the big bags for this. I would have thought because we can stack them on top of each other. In fact, have we got any in these? We do. Hmm. No, I think we'll just we'll just do the normal big bag. Uh, if I get uh, 
Ah. Okay. Um, didn't quite want to bank get us bankrupt. Um, oh shoot, that's not good. We've got two hundred twenty-two pounds. In one day of owning the dream farm, we are already bankrupt. Mm. I probably should have been checking the amount of money we had. Oh boy, that ain't good. That's not good at all. Okay, so we'll have to forfeit an extra one of these. It's all right. We'll um, could probably stack it in a triangle with these. Doesn't matter too much how they're done. Oh, come on. Again, really? So, the only thing that we've got left to do now is to take this back to the farm. Now, we're not really going to need this um, trailer until we come to either finally getting around to doing bailing or if we need to come back here to do any... Uh, to get anything else, but that's probably not going to happen since we are pretty much bankrupt already. So I'm going to just park the trailer in a shelter and we'll leave it like that. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this little, I'm going to call it an introductory video to the new series. If you have any ideas of how I can get out of bankruptcy very quickly, preferably in say one episode, um, then please, 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 please tell me in the description because, uh, yeah, I've lost almost 25 grand in one episode. In the first episode of the series, I've lost almost 25,000 pounds. So, definitely give me some advice and also have a go at me for losing that amount I give you full permission to do so on the plus side we've got plenty of seed and a little bit of fertilizer um, so this should look I mean this will probably last us a good few seasons really fertilizer not so much but the seeds certainly will I know that um, the seed drill that we've got it doesn't use a lot when going from the fields so should do it fairly quickly um, and actually let me know what crop you think we should plant now this will be a cereal crop so something that I can harvest using the class Tucano with the just a normal header that we've got I'm thinking canola but let me know what you guys think um, but I want to thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button for more Let's Plays. And to get notification on when the next video of this is going to be out. Uh, join my Discord server. We'll get a lot from that. Okay, go in chatting. Got gaming channels in there now. Which you can use the reaction role to get. Um, you can give me some tips on this in there as well instead of having to use the comment section. You'll find it'll get through to me a lot quicker that way as well. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.